While our channel primarily focuses on renewable heating, this video is essential viewing for anyone still using a boiler and that's not quite ready to make the leap to a heat pump. It offers practical advice on reducing carbon emissions and cutting energy costs with your existing system. In this short video, Nathan Gambling breaks down why most homes with boilers don't need their radiators running at a scalding 70 degrees centigrade. He explains how straightforward tweaks like incorporating weather or load compensation can make your boiler significantly more efficient, saving energy, reducing wear and tear, and lowering your bills. Take it away, Nathan. Let's say our home had a heat loss of eight kilowatts when it's minus three outside. That means heat is moving through the fabric of the home at 8,000 joules per second. That's what eight kilowatts means. So that means we only need to push eight kilowatts into the home with our radiators. And we're going to do that with 70 degrees. Now, most homes don't actually need 70 degrees. It's just that most boilers are being installed where they will send a flow temperature to your radiators at 70 degrees. It's usually far too hot. It might be okay if it was minus five or minus 10 outside, but it's usually too hot. But I'm using this as an example because that's what most boilers are doing. If it was nine degrees outside, our home will only lose four kilowatts of heat if it's 21 inside. Because the difference between 21 and nine is 12. The difference between 21 and minus three is 24. We half the heat loss. We only have to push 4,000 joules a second into the home from the radiators, which means the rads only have to be around 45 degrees. And if it's 15 degrees outside, you've got a heat loss of 2,000 joules per second, two kilowatts, so you only need to push 2,000 joules per second in, and you can go down to around about 35. Now the trouble is, we're installing boilers in eco scheme social housing that do this they're constantly pushing in the maximum speed which means they're going on off on off on off on off all day long that's why they break down quicker if you're having a new boiler system ask for weather compensation or load compensation nearly all boilers can do it now <laughs> 